Well, welcome back to the Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker, and uh, when we last left off, we just cleared Hyrule Castle of uh, all the monsters, so uh, now we're gonna leave and go back to the King of Red Lions. Uh oh. Camera's going through the model of the stair. There we go, that's better. Alright, we're done here for now, so we're gonna return to the surface world. Alright, we are done now. So, uh, let's see, what ways the wind blowing? Alright, we need to get out of the sail, get out of the wind waker. We're gonna head back to Windfall first. But on our way, we're going to uh, hopefully get something new. Now that we have the bow and arrow, we can uh, we can actually go um, to those cyclones, those giant cyclones you, you've seen around. The closest one is on the northwestern Triangle Island, which is where we're heading to first. Yep, so for now we're leaving the Tower of the Gods behind. And there it is. I think it's actually good that we're doing this in the day. It's brighter. Alright, let me get out the uh, bow. Uh, I've got how fast the boat stops when you don't have a sail up. And if you look at that, that is the uh, other god of winds. That is uh, Cyclops. There we go. Now that we've hit him three times, he'll stop the cyclone. Now he's going to teach us a new song. of Gales. This will allow us to teleport around the sea uh, using his cyclones. Anywhere we've seen a large cyclone we can uh, use those to tell we can uh, teleport to where they were. They're no longer there anymore so we don't have to worry about running into them because we have control over them now. But yeah that's it. And just to demonstrate it we'll use it to get to Windfall Island. See, these are all the locations. We didn't actually need to get this until after we were done. Until after we are done uh, going to the second fortress. But for now, this will just help us get around e much more easily. Alright, we're back at Windfall. Oops. I need to re-equip the sail.
Alright, now that we have the Wind Waker, let's go talk to this weird, uh, man near the grave. So yes, if you haven't figured it out, we're learning a song to change the night to day. Unfortunately, nothing happens for him, but we can change nine day now, anytime we want to. Okay, let's go into the uh, schoolhouse real quick. Talk to Miss uh, Marie because we have all those joy pendants. I actually forgot how many we have. Let me check. Twenty-two. That's a lot. So yeah, she gives us 20 rupees for just one, but let's give her 20 more. And now she's going to give us something really important. We can give her much more later if we want to. And we'll get uh, many more rupees for doing so. But this is what we need, the Kabana need. Yeah, the Tropical Oasis is a little, I think, just south of the Tower of the Gods. If we go there, we can, uh... We, well, there, uh... Well, it's very important, I'll just say that for now. There's a, there's a good amount of what we can do on Windfall Island, but I don't want to take your time with that because uh, I'd rather keep going with the adventure for now. So we're done here for now. That's all we need to do. That was really important. So if you remember Tingle's chart from when I uh, showed you it earlier in the playthrough, to the northwest of Windfall is an island with a uh, great ferry on it, and uh, similar to the one that he marked on that was on Outside Island. This ferry over here will uh, increase the size of our wallet yet again to a whole, I think it's 5,000 rupees, which we do need. We need a lot of rupees and we will need them soon. 
soon enough, I should say. Not for a little bit, but soon enough. Ah, there's a blue chew jelly. When you kill a blue chew jelly, it's guaranteed to drop one of these. Which is a blue chew jelly. We need, I think, what is it, 15 of them in total? Problem is, um, each one only drops one and that's it. Whenever you kill it again, it won't drop more. Oh, and let's talk to this guy real quick. talking about that out there. And we're actually gonna go there in a moment. But first let's actually uh, visit the ferry. Now hold five thousand rupees. All right, that's it for now. That's all. That's all the wall expansions we need. Uh, let's see what else. Yeah, there should be nothing else. Let's continue on uh, westward. Actually, let me change the window real quick. See off into the distance, the Forsaken Fortress. And again, that's where we're headed. Ah, shoot, I knew there was something I forgot. Uh, I forgot to talk to... Who was it? I wanted to talk to... Is it Barney? I wanted to talk to the guy who was wearing the, uh, coat, who we got the sale from, because, um, we can get a really good item from him if we, uh, do a sort of chain side quest, I guess you could call it. Okay, this is where rope swinging is useful because we want to get to the other side of the uh, other side of the room without falling down. And ash. Oh well.
Alright, let's try that again. Ah. Yep. Need to line myself up correctly first. Let's try that again and hopefully this time I won't screw up. That's better. You just have to walk forward, because if you uh, just look ahead, it'll only look like there's nothing there. I'm not sure what this treasure chart contains. Again, I haven't even checked any of the treasure charts I have. Really should, honestly. Alright, let's continue, uh, westward. Whoa, yeah, that's right. Um, as you get closer to the Forsaken Fortress, these exploding barrels start, uh, appearing. Ah, this is where one of the, uh, Deku, uh, the Ko Koroks are. One of them, anyway. Yeah, so what we had to do is, um, eventually what we'll have to do is, um, get the, uh, Forest Haven water. And when we do, we'll, uh, get markings on a map where each of these, um, Deku are, and we'll go and help them. Uh, actually, I'll go and do more on this island later. I'll wait until we can actually do more of these side quests. I never like exploring the islands until I get the uh, I get the inventory more filled out because you can, as you can see, we still missing a few items here, a few items here. So for now, we'll just head straight for the Forsaken Fortress.
And there it is. Whoa. Daytime. Um, something went really wrong with the weather. Whoa. Haven't had that happen before, but okay. Oh yeah, as you can see, there are a bunch more cannons around the Forsaken Fortress this time. Ow. Alright, let's go. Grab a heart for, from being hit by that dang cannon. Alright, so we can't go up here, so we're just gonna go straight over here. And this is Phantom Ganon. We haven't destroyed him, but we've got him to back off for now. Now we get the skull hammer. Pretty much it's the Mega Ten hammer from um, Ocarina. But this hammer will be able to uh, knock out those uh, pegs that are blocking our way from getting upstairs. Also, careful moves. There are a ton of them around the uh, fortress. Yeah, those imps tend to kill themselves, they're not really good. Oh, I should have used the uh, rebel one. Could have gotten the joy pendant. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, we need to disable the searchlights again because, uh, they will get in the way. Plus, now we can actually climb on these and just jump over here. That's two searchlights, and now the third one. Yep. 
Yeah, just ignore them. They'll keep chasing you and it doesn't matter really. Oh, for here the uh, the uh, ropes and the uh, lamps are removed, so just use the Deku leaf. And there we go. And that's the last one. If we want to, we can actually go downstairs and uh, get all the moblins and get their skull necklaces. But uh, there's no reason for that. Oh, and if you saw that before we entered, there was a statue of a moblin guard. Um, if you get too close, it will come alive and like uh, shoot fireballs at you. So uh, be careful of that. It's not too much of a problem, though. Actually, probably gonna knock him off the edge. So he doesn't like us stealing his jewelry. Yeah, now we're gonna run into a lot of imps. Oh look. Yeah, they don't drop much in terms of things that are actually useful. It's better just to run away. there now. There we go. Oh, I remember what that, uh, oh, the bird's not there. I remember what the bird's name is called. It's called the Helmarok King. Or, um, I think it's Jeroku or something like that. In the, uh, Japanese version. But yeah, let's go in and uh, save our sister. <laughs> 